Hi everyone, it's me, Jacob, Library Technician at the Longview Public Library. And today I'm going to introduce you to our first Winter 2023 Pre-K Packet Craft Snow Person on a Stick. From home you'll need something to trace your snow people's body with, like this block. You'll need a pair of scissors. And you'll need something to trace the shape of the body with, like a pencil, a marker, or something like that. And then you'll also need your craft packet that you can pick up in the library drive through or at the lower floor desk. And you'll also need glue. Inside your pre-K packet this week, you'll get the supplemental slip that has the uh, book recommendations, the song lyrics, and the literacy tip. You'll get two popsicle sticks. You'll get a handful of pom-poms. And you'll get a few different colors of felt. So you'll get some white felt, black felt, some orange felt, and finally another uh, random color. So the first step to making this snow person on a stick craft is to take your round object, put it on your felt, and then you're just going to take your marker and you're going to trace around it. Um, and then once you've got your circle, then you're just going to cut it out. And you're going to do that um, six times if you want to make both your snow people. Um, you can do additional ones if you want, but uh, the standard is three per snow person, so that'll be about how much uh, felt you have. And the next step is you're going to take these white circles and you're going to glue them onto your popsicle stick in kind of an overlaying pattern. And you want to put the the head just at the top like that and then you can overlap them just a little bit like so and that'll be it all right so there's the snow person all on their stick and then i'm going to cut out their hat next and then also their nose all right and so the next step is that i'm going to take this hat that i cut out and this nose that i cut out and i'm going to glue them onto the snow person and then after that, I'm going to cut out some little squares, or on, if you wanted to, you could do circles or whatever shape you want for the eyes. All right, so I've got the hat, and nose, and eyes all glued on. And next, I need to make them a little scarf, and then I'm going to glue on the pom-poms for the little chest buttons. So here's my finished snow person. You have enough materials to make two snow men, snow women, whatever you want them to do. Um, and you can have them play and together in the snow if we get any more for the rest of the year. <laughs> so this week's literacy tip is that on a cold winter night, it's good to cuddle up with some blankets, maybe some hot cocoa or a warm drink, and to read together. Um, building like a cozy, like comfortable atmosphere while reading helps create positive associations for kids in reading, which will help them later when they're learning to read independently. And this next one is to the tune of I'm a Little Teapot, and it goes like this. I'm a little snowman, short and fat. Here are my buttons, here is my hat. When the sun comes out, I cannot stay. Slowly I just melt away. So this next one is a finger play um, that starts with um, five fingers on your hand, and you just count down as you go. So it goes like this. Five little snowmen standing in a row. Each had a hat and a big red bow. Out came the sun and it shone all day and one little snowman melted away. And then you just keep doing that until you reach zero. And now for the book recommendations. So our first recommendation is called Snow Angel, Sand Angel and it's by Lois Ann Yamanaka and illustrated by Ashley Ukashevsky. And it's about this girl named Claire who lives in Hawaii. And she's always had an interest in snow, um, but given where she lives, um, she doesn't get any. So she um, practices and pretends with her family making um, snow angels and uh, snowmen in the sand. This next one is called Froggy Builds a Snowman, and it's by Jonathan London and illustrated by Frank Remkowitz. And this one's about Froggy, who is a pretty popular picture book character as he experiments building different kinds of snow people. Like, so he makes like a snow monster and like a few other 
shapes and whatnot, um, and then there is a snowball fight at the end. This next one is called Snowballs, and it's by Lois Ellert, and it's about the life of this uh, snowman here as more and more parts get added on to him, uh, different accessories and whatnot, uh, as he all comes together. All right, and this one's called Over and Under the Snow, and it's by Kat Kate Mesner, and um, has pictures by Christopher Silas Neal. And the inside has this father and daughter going through different parts of the forest when it's snowy. And so it talks about nature and then it explores um, different parts of like the environment here, um, talks about some of the creatures and plants and whatnot. So this one is called Snow Globe Wishes and it's by Aaron Dealey with pictures by Claire Shorrock. And it's about this girl who um, in winter time makes a wish on her snow globe um, and maybe her wish comes true by the end. Thanks everybody for watching this video. We hope you enjoy making your own snow people on a stick and that you stick around for the next group of pre-k packet videos coming every two weeks. We've also got story times on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays at 1030. Babies are on Monday, toddler on Tuesday, and preschool on Wednesday. And we hope to see you then.